When I first saw Tim Kempton play, I saw a guy who had a pretty good feel for the game. There are certain assumptions that I made, being from a basketball family and having his dad be as prominent even in the NBA as he was, that Tim had a great deal of exposure to the game and that could translate very well to college. Kempton, quickly double, solves it! Sports are such a special part of, of our family, uh, having grow, grown up in them. I grew up with my dad playing very successful basketball at a high level, so that kind of got passed down. My parents weren't big on pushing basketball, and obviously b basketball was part of my life growing up with my father. I think that's what helped me kind of grow for my love of the game. Tim's relationship with his father appears to be very strong. His dad is ultra supportive but in such a way that he gives space for his son to grow and develop. When it comes to anything that you're successful in, I believe that you know you have to want it. You're the one that has to have the passion for it. So when he was growing up, he played a lot of sports. He swam, he played on a very successful travel baseball team. He did a lot of things growing up. His junior summer, he, he really got the feeling of wanting to get better, and that's when you could see the desire and the passion come for him. Then I pushed it. Seeing an image of my father growing up and, and seeing him play professional sports it helped pave the path for me in terms of my style of play even or my way I handle myself off the court. My father and my mother raised me well in terms of having my goals in mind and, and that's kind of how I play on the court and how I play off. And, but seeing my father's play kind of helped me establish kind of what how I wanted to play in terms of just the hard work aspect and the, and the blue collar aspect of just and grinding on the court. He's got a certain element of toughness to him. You know, he's been a guy who's been beat up throughout the course of his, of his career, but he's never really taken a back seat. Having a father who's been through probably every scenario that I've gone through, whether it's a tough loss or just having a bad game, he's been through there and he can walk me through the steps. And, and obviously he lets me grow in those aspects and lets me get my own takeaways. So I have this the same learning factor and the growth factor that he had. But just having there someone to talk about whatever it is, whether it's on the court or off the court. We communicate all the time. He calls me right after games, whether it's a good game or a bad game, win or loss. So we do talk about his game, what he could have done better. One thing that I've always stressed to my kids, it's about the process. You know, you have to do the little things to get uh, reach the, the big goals that you set for yourself. And if you take care of little things, the big things come kind of automatically. Having the name Kempton behind me and, and the legacy that my dad or grandfather left is something that I take pride in. But there is aspects of times where I want to create my own legacy. And I think that's something that I've been able to do. I want everyone just be able to look at me and know that I played my butt off every game and kind of left everything and every every inch of my heart on the court. And that's kind of what I've strived to do since my freshman year and that's where I come back on, on what my parents taught me and what my father taught me of just that hard-nosed mentality.